Back inside the Max Center is Kent State with eight steals. Very disruptive tonight. 11 nothing points off turnovers. And Kent State holding this 11 point advantage. Kent State basketball family uh, honoring and grieving and sending out thoughts and prayers for the three high school students who uh, lost their lives at Chardon High School here in Northeast Ohio. A senseless and very tragic shooting that has claimed the, the three high school students' lives. We, of course, all of us at Sports Absolutely. Time Ohio, Steve Mix, yours truly, all of us uh, send along our tremendous sympathies, thoughts and condolences and prayers to all of the families and the Chardon community affected. Another steal, Kent State. Wrap around from Eric Gaines, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Gaines was leading a Kent State run out off uh, another steal. Their ninth, nine steals yep. in the first 12 minutes of some change. Watch Gaines behind the back. You don't have to do that. Tried to get a little too fancy. But wh what's been interesting, nine turnovers for Ohio U. Every one of them has been a steal. So you talk about the swarming defense of Kent State. Another wow. turnover, Ohio's Bobcats. That one's unforced on Reggie Keeley. Went right through the wickets. You know, I, I've watched him enough now. I don't think his hands and feet are, are ready to catch. I, I think he loses a little focus sometimes out on the court. He's got, that ball just went through his fingertips. Carlton Guyton along with Eric Gaines, Chris Evans, Justin Manns, and Randall Holt. Five Rod Sederoff has on the floor right now. Evans has been a catalyst in this big Kent State spurt. Shot clock at four. Guyton had to give it up. Holt off the step back. Drew some rim as you heard that shot clock expire. DJ Cooper. Can Cooper restore order? Walter off it. Nope. Came up flat. Cooper's got an offensive board. And that send back three is off the mark wide right. Ohio right now in one of those uh, tough periods. Randall Holt. And a good look at three that came up short. Wow. Excellent save from Chris Evans for the Justin Mans crush. Ten turnovers for Ohio U. Ten steals for Kent State. Man. Now, would you hanging on the rim on that? Let's take a look at it. There's the steal. And there's the tip right there. It's been uh, such a, a, a fervent beginning. I mean, with, with such great energy attached to it for Kent State's goal that flashes. They're on a 15 to 1 run. And uh, John Gross has uh, not been pleased with some of the, uh, the way things have transpired here on the floor during the first 13 minutes of some change. Well, the technical. It was on Patrick Jackson. Wasn't it on Mans? No. Hanging nope, on the rim? Nope. It was on Patrick Jackson for some odd reason. That's what they said. Well, let's go back and Guyton. take a look at it. Now they're saying Guyton. Nick Kellogg at the free throw stripe to shoot it. We'll get it sorted out. Now, Kellogg, the uh, a couple of throws. He'll connect on both. Nick Kellogg, the uh, the outstanding free throw shooter. All right, let, let's go back and take a look off the Chris Evans save at the other end. Oh, there you go. A little taunting right there. Oh, go, Guyton. okay. Yeah, Guyton, Guyton, Guyton and yeah. Keeley. I yeah. got it. Yeah. I got it. Good camera work. Well, again, I, I didn't think it was on Justin no. Mance, who uh, did not appear like he hung on the rim. And uh, some of the Ohio crowd behind us uh, maybe suggested such. Evo Baltic will come off the screen. Keeley with a big offensive board for Ohio. Reggie Keeley couldn't finish with the left hand. Keeley, the local product from here in Northeast Ohio, the young man uh, for John Gross who prepped at uh, University Heights High School. I want to remind all of you, Mac fans, State Fire Positively Cleveland, teaming up to offer you the chance to win. All expenses paid trip to Cleveland. Wonderful city of Cleveland in the Mac basketball tournament. You'll be VIPs for sure. Get Mac gear and spending cash. Log on to sfmidamerica.com for details and registration. 
information. A little two three zone now by Ohio U. If we can't guard you man to man, which they haven't been able to do in this run, then we've got to switch our defenses around. Guyton will slash. Got in trouble. Shot clock at five. Was that triple missed by Eric Gaines, but he got it right back. Another steal. Justin Green. Basketball loose on the deck. Bodies all over on the floor. And that possession arrow is going to keep the basketball with Kent State. Well, John Gross, it's the second time, and he has implored Buddy Mayborg, the lead official, saying that's a walk. Nope, never picked up that left foot. Ball was knocked loose. That's a good call by the official. Kent State a plus 11. How have they done it? They have done it off an absolute energy-filled swarm on the defensive end. Green going to the free throw line. Steve Mix uh, assessed that for us. They kind of walked Green up toward the head of the circle, and then when the basketball was ready to be put in play, walked them back down for the quick explosion. Well, watch this. I mean, you, you, when you take a look at that play, he just kind of nonchalant, and then you find the opening in that 2-3 zone, and, and he just came in and, and kind of pinned Baltic on his back and was able to get that nice little entry pass. One thing, first thing, that, the mistake that Ohio University made was they allowed that ball to be, be passed into the paint. Yeah, that's, a, that's something that uh, you never allow. So you're all, defensively, if you're challenging the ball out of bounds, you're always with your back to the basket uh, uh, facing the ball. Kent State started 0 for 5 yeah. from the line. Now they're 4 for 4. And just the green has uh, been the young man who has had to turn it around at the line. This is a 13-point Kent State lead. It is their largest of the opening half. Hooper. Now that was bothered. And bothered mightily by Carlton Guyton. And the basketball is going to stay with Kent State's goal that flashes. Ohio has missed their last nine field goal attempts in a row. So right now, Steve Bix, and again, we're only 50 minutes in. Yep. Ohio four-game win streak, Kent State three-game losing streak, in jeopardy. going in the opposite yeah, absolutely. direction. Absolutely. To look at this one, you would think it would be the other way around. Yep. Green. And a check down on that baseline is uh, Ohio indeed in that zone. High quad board on the floor. Carlton Guyton and a measure of that three. And Perini's got it all fits and board. And a new 35 seconds to work with. That's what he does best, Steve Mix. Yep. And look where they have him on the, against the 2 3 zone right at the free throw line. It's all about the hustle and muscle yep. for Michael Perini. Randall Holt splashing that long range tray to bump the Kent State lead up to 16, their largest of the night. And John Gross has got to get it stopped. That offensive rebound, you knew it was going to cost them the way that Kent State has been shooting the basketball. Michael Perini comes down with the offensive rebound. He kicks it out. Bam, Holt's right there for the three ball. Watch it, just swinging around. Off the offensive board, swing it right to left. There's Holt wide open. Tell him what it is, young fella. Tell him it's a three ball. Well, I'll tell you what it is, partner. It's also a 20 to three. Yeah, 20 to three Kent State run during this not only cold spell shooting the basketball, but Ohio has uh, not valued it either with so many Kent State stripaways, rakeaways, and steals that have led to runouts the other way. On the season, Ohio University only averages 13 turns per game and get back 18 as you take a look at the Kent State defense. Solid numbers for Kent State tonight. Well, and those numbers are way up yeah. from what they normally do. Yeah, exactly. More than 11 points per game up yeah. in the three-game losing streak. A team shooting near 50%? Come yeah, on, that's, that's not Kent State no, basketball. That's not at all. Not what we've known in now this 14-year run of success. Eight minutes of some change for Ohio on the schneid. They have not been able to make a shot. Shot clock at five. This is Walter Offen. He'll turn it over again. Holt running with Eric Gaines sailing to the cup. The putback wouldn't drop for Brewer. Now numbers Ohio. Cooper went up top. Reggie Keeley with a smash from 
DJ Cooper. That ends the, think about that. Kent yeah. State <laughs> had a, a four on yeah, one run. Did. That could have upped the lead uh, potentially up to 18. They don't connect it. Cooper finds Keeley at the other end. Let's see if that sparks Ohio a little bit. Baseline jumper very flat for Barrett Gaines with the stick back will drop from Michael Perini. On the present. Yeah. If a basketball's loose, there's a chance that number two in white Michael Perini's yeah, coming he, up. With he's gonna be right either around end of the floor, it. right? Yeah. Doesn't matter. He'll be around it. If he doesn't get it, he'll be right around it. Lead back to 16. We're inside the three-minute mark. And Chris Brewer had the basketball momentarily. Oh, 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 oh. So you know where John Gross's message is going to be at yeah, halftime yeah. to his ball club. Cooper got bumped as he uh, tried to get that step down uh, toward that right side of the floor. All right, we're inside the, uh, the three-minute mark, and uh, this has been an absolute mob scene defensively for Kent State's Golden Flashes. Chris Evans making it happen. Ohio tried to catch a spark off the Reggie Keeley throwdown. 